I transformed a viewer's base in RimWorld. Rim Can I turn a broken, inefficient base into a beautiful paradise? I think we're going to keep the uh, simple base part here and maybe move everything in here. He does not need all of this room. Uh, he's growing a huge psychoid field. And this hospital room doesn't need to be this big. Okay, firstly, let's deconstruct all of this. I know it will hurt him, but uh, we need to. And his priorities are, uh, I mean, he has a lot of priorities here, but I'm going to fix them to uh, the preferred. Bed rest is really important. You generally don't want to keep a lot of cooks. You only want the best ones. The weak ones can cause food poisoning. So I think I will divide it into uh, four rooms. I think one workshop, one bedroom, recreation, storage and such. I don't think we need this, all of this. Okay, so this entire thing is 21. So I think we will build within this. For now, I think I will have a lot of people working on this because uh, we need to reconstruct this whole base. He does have guests at the uh, hospitality mod. Okay, we're just going to have everything deconstructed. So Snake here has wooden flooring, so I think he will need concrete or stone. Well, good trader. Okay, roof collapse. I should have built a column. Okay, I will have to trade away all of this garbage. Yep, this guy has 27,000 wood. Uh, this is so much wealth. Oh my. This guy does not need a huge freezer for only six colonists, so that's what we're going to get. Okay, I'm going to have to move this fabrication bench, unfortunately. Okay, they are repairing everything before removing the floor. For now, I will clear the home area to prevent that. Okay, I'm going to keep the drug plant field because he probably wants to keep that. So we have deconstructed most of it, but mm, I want to make this. Okay, let's work on a few bedrooms here as well. We have a lot of wood, so might just construct out of it. Okay, so we're working on the recreational area and the bedrooms right now. We just need a few of them. Okay, and we're constructing bedrooms. Uh, I need to work on this as well, but uh, things are looking good. And this has a lot of unnecessary areas in this space, or maybe has a purpose for them, but we want to minimize things and keep it all compact. Uh, they have to travel a long way. Hmm. And he's making plate armor here when he has uh, flak armor and all of that. Um, I'm not sure. He should be going for uh, marine armor at this point, right? Yeah, he has marine armor here, so I'm not sure why he's making that. Maybe he doesn't have the resources, but we will uh, pause that. And he is still using stools. Um, these provide moderate comfort, uh, but not good enough. Uh, we need to replace those. Okay, so he has a hospital room here. What I will do for efficiency is move the research room here and make that hospital because medical beds get a boost from sterile tiles and researchers. So let's do that. Got the vitals monitor and everything we need. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with this. We'll also get a fabrication bench here. Hmm, he also has a TV for the patients. That is quite nice. I'm just going to strip away these areas. Uh, maybe storage can be compacted. I think that's what I'll do here. He also has the hospitality mod here. So instead of having a barracks, I will enclose those in bedrooms as well. I will also fix some stockpile zones for him. Now we are on 1.3 without DLC, so we don't have shelves. So, yep. And I'm not sure why he has this perimeter around the plants when he has this one right here. I mean, it's an extra layer, but it's not that necessary, so we will get rid of that. Okay, a lot of his colonists are getting mood debuffs. Hmm. Okay, we will deconstruct this medical room. And he has zero defenses, so I'm not sure. We are on community builder, but still, uh, I need to build some defenses for him. And we are definitely overproducing food. Hmm. And we do not need this area between the storage here and uh, our main base. Okay, and already the game is starting to feel less laggy. Uh, too many structures is not good. You want to keep things compact, at least in the mid-game. Okay, base is already starting to look much better, more compact. Uh, of course, this is just my, my opinion, but yeah, I think he wants me to do this. Okay, we will move this solar panel into the perimeter. You should have all your outdoorsy stuff in your perimeter here, so... 
Okay, everything is looking good, but he doesn't have a lot of sculptures in his colony, so the recreational room won't be that pretty. He has a lot of jade here, so you need to make jade sculptures. They are the best. Okay, he doesn't have batteries, which is uh, yeah, quite a decent choice, but uh, we might want one or two at least. And he doesn't need this much cotton. Um, I think he has way more than enough cotton. Don't want to overproduce things. We want to keep the animal sleeping spots up here so they are close to the base. We want to reduce travel time here. Okay, so the foundation of the base is doing really good. Uh, nice and compact. I'm not sure how we can store or move all this storage here. Yes, he a psychic emanator here he hasn't installed. Yeah, so right now we're training everyone's uh, construction skill, which is a really good thing. People already uh, from 8 to level 12 on Jimmy, I remember. Yeah, he has a lot of flooring I just want to get rid of to make the base look prettier. Oh, we actually have uh, threats here. Manhunter pack. Okay, so half of our colonists are incapable of violence. Uh, they have good armor, I think. A lot of sharp armor, especially shark. Ah, we have elephants. Alright, elephants. I want you right here. There we go. Just assign them to the zone and... Uh, <laughs> There we go, threat dealt with. Okay, so now I have to work on the storage area. He definitely doesn't need all of this, so I'll try to minimize and move it all into here. He also doesn't have a uh, miss console, I noticed. A uh, comms console, I'm not sure why. Well, we at least want to get rid of every single pile of wood here, so... Hmm, he was researching a modded thing here. Um, do I just continue this? I guess so. Okay, so he had set this cook lavish meal to 110. Uh, you definitely only need to cook until 20. Uh, okay, base is looking good. Uh, just fix it up a bit more. Okay, we will start grenading all of this. Okay, already a lot of stuff gone. Stone blocks and all of that can stay outside though. Yeah, a lot of psychoid he has coming in here. I'm not sure how to deal with that. Oh, we actually have a raid. Does this guy have uh, uh, quite the mods installed? Uh, we will take care of them. Okay, the raiders are coming. Oh no, we don't have a defensive system, eh? Oh no, that was an accident. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> okay, well, they, they just fled. Okay, this guy will need a lot of storage. Hmm. Okay, got rid of a bunch of wood. He also has a bunch of herbal medicine. This is way too much. Ah, oh, we have an exotic goods trader. I need to sell everything. Or not everything, but... And I also noticed his settings for the clothing is wrong. You're supposed to have it at 51 to 100, because otherwise you get so much tattered apparel. Um, which is a moody buff. So he has a lot of animals here, but if you don't know, you can manage these automatically, but he has too many. Mm, we need more steel. Oh no, they left in a raid. Damn, Randy is uh, pumping out these raids. He has a bunch of gun turrets for uh, the raiders. Uh, looks like it works. Oh, they're, they're all fleeing. I, I guess gun turrets are the meta. Okay, so I think all the wood flooring in this uh, warehouse uh, will lead to disaster. I can imagine, so let's get rid of that. I will also set up some bills to smelt uh, armor and such that is uh, tattered. 
Yes, yeah, so a lot of research as well. So I'm going to make this pawn decked out. They still have revolvers. <laughs> uh, you need uh, you need assault rifles. Uh, Psychite withdrawal. Turns out this guy has unticked addiction usage. Uh, he needs Psychite. Uh, so you can see our wealth is quickly going down. This is very good. So you don't get large raids. Oh no, he has a pyromaniac in this colony. Oh, I could never. He's a... Uh, the, the space owner is a uh, pretty brave guy. And I'm not sure why, but having geothermal generators out in the open without walls will make raiders destroy them, so let's cover it all up. And this guy also has a lot of um, things on flee. I mean, I put my colonists on attack because if there's a manhunter right next to you, then you have a gun. I mean, if there's a pacifist, then of course, but this guy has so much psych IT. Okay, I've got assault rifles coming in. And I will get Devil Strand Dusters. That is a very good thing that he has those. Uh, very protective. So let's get that for everyone. Okay, base is looking good. I'm not satisfied with the stockpile area. I will not bother with his psychoid. Mad tortoise. So I think he put the turrets here for the geothermal gazers, but uh, I don't think we need them here. Oh uh, no, so many psychoid. Uh, I'm not sure if I can haul all of that. Hmm, so one mistake is that he has deep drilling and ground penetrating scanner, but he hasn't actually started and all the almost all the steel on his map is gone. Okay, let's work on a ground penetrating scanner for him. Hmm, got blight. Jade sculptures coming in. Everybody's mood will go up. I will also organize the pawns here with melee up first and then all the ranged and then uh, inca incapable pawns. I will also work on a defensive system because I think he needs it. Okay, let's melt down all the trash. Yeah, this space is looking very good. Uh, it's just my opinion, but I think I fixed it up pretty well. Okay, wealth has gone down. We are destroying some stuff here. Very good. This pyromaniac. Okay, smelting down all the weapons. Uh, there's um, no reason to have Iquas in this space, so we're doing that. Okay, kill box is going up. Don't need a huge one, but at least something. We have hauled everything. We can get rid of the rest here, I believe. Okay, let's get rid of this. Oh, the game is lagging. It's only when I try to deconstruct this. Look at that lag. Okay, now we can get rid of this workshop, finally. Oh my, a defoliator ship. Luckily, we have uh, all the armor that we need for this and weapons. Mm, we need more plasteel. We do have the ground penetrating scanner up though. Hmm, shaman merchant. Okay, deconstruct all of this. Oh, and a combat supplier. I think we can buy everything. Yes, a lot of reinforced barrels here, but... Six. I need to sell off all this five, uh, 1000 psych IT. There we go, got recon helmet and all of that. Hello, Doc. Uh, we will craft a lot of Devil's Strand pads here. Okay, we got Plasteel. This is uh, huge. Mm, got a slave ship. Hmm, we actually got a great pawn here. I will buy him. Okay, everyone is stacked out on armor. This is good. Okay, everything is looking good. Uh, we've uh, rebuilt the base. I want to take care of this defoliator. Um, yeah. Legendary work. Legendary jade sculpture. <laughs> this is the best room in the world now. Look at that. Okay, let's take on the uh, mech cluster here. Kill the Lancer first.
There we go. The defoliator ship has been taken care of. I am satisfied with the renovation. Got rid of all this and base is looking good. But I will send this back to Snake Oil. Thanks to my Patreon members. And if you're bored and watch this video next.